So on today's episode, we are going to show you how to program the daylight running lights from anything that you would like, whether it's the low beam, high beam, fog lights, turn signals, whatever it is that you'd like, we're going to show you how to program it. And it's especially awesome because we have the halo headlights tied into our turn signals. So we're going to activate our turn signals. We're going to get those halo lights. We're going to activate. Gonna, and yes, let's do it. Oh, and by the way, what do you think of our office? This is our home office, you know? Newly, newly, newly put together. Newly minted. Thinking about having some more episodes with us over here just chatting with you all. What do you think? Oh, uh, Greg, what did you do to my car? I was looking for the ProCal card. And then and you know what I was told? Alin, you should probably clean your glove. So I'm just going to leave it, leave it on the seat Oh my you. goodness, Alin. Welcome back to The Garage Couple. My name is Aline. And I'm Greg. And we're The Garage Couple. Yeah. That was... <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I am a teacher and Greg is a doctor. And on our spare time, we love working on our Jeeps, DIYs, affordable things that absolutely anyone can do at home. And we have an example of that today, right? We absolutely do. So just before we get started, if you're not familiar, Aline drives a 2015 JK Wrangler with camouflage all over it. We wrapped it ourselves and we have the full video on our channel. Another, and I drive a 2005 Jeep TJ Rubicon sitting on 38 inch Milestar tires with a four inch Skyjacker suspension lift. Now this thing is an absolute monster and we have both the tire video as well as the lift video in our in our video in our video on our channel the install the lift kit install video we did at home by ourselves is 45 minutes long and shows clear step-by-step -step instructions now one of our more popular videos was actually a headlight video for Ollie's Jeep Wrangler now we've gone through many different headlights in the past and we've actually given a lot of headlights away as well but we came across one brand that was the absolute easiest to install and the best headlights because they're totally plug and play. They don't, in, they don't involve any crimping, any soldering or anything at all. You literally just unbolt the old headlights and you plug the new one in. They have the anti-flicker harness built into them so the headlights don't flicker and they also have the halo ring that automatically lights up and uh, automatically has the turn signal function in it as well. You don't have to tap into those wires respectively. Now, the purpose of this video is to talk about the AEB ProCal module that we have absolutely loved using on, on Alin's 2015 Jeep Wrangler. So when you go up a size in your tires, you're gonna notice that your MPGs are not no, accurate. No, 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 MPGs. Nope, not MPGs, your speedometer, right? Ow! Should I just like walk off? You wanna no. do it yourself? No, no, that would be garage friend. Yep. So, when you go up a size in your tires, you're gonna notice that your speedometer is not accurate. Ways you can check this is download an app, check your speed, or have your partner check your speed because it's not safe while you drive, and you're gonna notice that it's off. We needed a solution. This was our solution. And it's one of the easiest solutions for that. You literally plug this in and you follow the guide that comes with the device and you can go ahead and adjust the vehicle to know the exact new tire size so that your speedometer is accurate once again. So other than just adjusting the tire size, it also does several other features that are incredibly awesome if you own a Jeep Wrangler JK. Makes me jealous because we don't get this on the TJ, but what you could do is adjust for the tire size, you can adjust for your gear ratio, so once you re-gear, you can go ahead and program that in so the vehicle can again adjust the speedometer. Uh, you can also program the one-touch lane change, which is when you click the, the, the blinker, it blinks three times instead of once, which is pretty nice. You could program the daytime running lights, which is actually what we're gonna be programming today. And I'm gonna show you why it's pretty awesome with the new headlights so that the halo rings come on by themselves. We're also gonna, there's also the low tire pressure indicator, which is also super important because once you go larger, you drop the pressure in the tires, perhaps when you're off-roading, 
and you don't want that tire indicate the tire pressure light on all the time we actually adjusted that as well we lowered the threshold next is a smart bar indicator disable now this is on the rubicon models i'll leave that to the rubicon folks with the jk's then you can also clear the check engine light codes now other things that this thing does temporarily when it's plugged in you could make the idling rpm higher just so that when you're running a winch or any other heavy duty uh, accessory, your engine can power it better because your alternator is getting more juice. So that's one of the other things. You could also do something that is really, really nice that I really appreciate when you're aligning your vehicle at home. You keep this plugged in, you put it into the alignment mode, and as you're adjusting your track bar and uh, sway bar end links on the bottom of the vehicle, if the, if the steering wheel is too much to the left, your left blinker will be on. If it's too much to the right, the right blinker will be on. If it's dead center, your high beams will turn on and that's when you know you're done. Seriously, so, so helpful, so cool. Um, and then you can also program different PCMs and different uh, gas pedals and things like that. A little more advanced and definitely not going to explore into that. Probably not. Talking a little too much, guys. Need a little, a little break. It's not cool. Mm. So on today's episode, we are going to show you how to program the daylight running lights from anything that you would like, whether it's the low beam, high beam, fog lights, turn signals, whatever it is that you'd like, we're going to show you how to program it. And it's especially awesome because we have the halo headlights tied into our turn signals. So we're going to activate our turn signals. We're going to get those halo lights. We're going to activate. Gonna, and yes, let's do it. Oh, and by the way, what do you think of our office? This is our home office, you know? Newly, newly, newly put together. Newly minted. Thinking about having some more episodes with us over here, just chatting with you all. What do you think? What do you think? What are you doing? Um, I don't feel like walking today. Let's go to the GP, guys. Come on. I'll bring your chair. Why are you me. taking my chair? Just to help you out. Oh my God. Give me a little booster. Everything all fit? I, it's so funny. Like, you know what? It's so funny that the wheels. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. I don't know if this is a Maybe good idea. Maybe if I use my new contraption machine on my vehicle, I wouldn't be going sideways. Oh my goodness. Right, maybe this isn't gonna work. Yeah, probably not. First, oh. we, I don't think you need the key. You have to unlock though, before you can go in the vehicle. Oh, huh. Greg, what did you do to my car? I was looking for the ProCal card. And then and you know what I was told? Alin, you should probably clean your glove. So I'm just gonna leave it, leave it on the seat. Oh for my you. goodness, Alin. Okay, so let me show you what happens with this. We're gonna just turn this one click, and those are the halos. It comes on with the turn signal light. Now, Alin, why don't you put the hazard light on? So that is how the device looks. These headlights are absolutely amazing. Hazard off. And as you can see, they just come, up, come back on very slowly. It's very luxurious, actually. And th this set's really affordable as well. They, they're in the description below for those that want to get a set for themselves. I just got in trouble for almost throwing away zip ties. Yes, do not throw away zip ties. All right. Rule number one. So first thing is, as you mentioned earlier, ignition on. That means one click without the engine on just like so. It also has a series of dip switches, I believe, I can't see this, four, eight, ten, uh, ten dip switches on there? Nine. Nine dip switches. One to nine. So it has nine dip switches which you either put in the up or the down direction to adjust exactly which parameter you would like. There's a card that comes with the device that we have since lost that tells you exactly what order you should put the dip switches in in order to get exactly what you want. When installing the headlights, we noticed that the halo does not come on automatically when I turn the car on. It takes you turning the turn signal on for the lights to come on. And that's because it takes power from the turn signal lights. So you have to turn it one click so the turn signal gets power so then the halo gets power. But I absolutely love the look of a running halo light. So just to defeat that middleman. So every time I turn the car on, I want my halo lights on. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. 
With your ignition on and engine off, you are gonna plug in your device into the OBD reader. Next, you're gonna listen for the horn to honk. It should honk one time. You should hear a horn beep pretty quickly as soon as this gets plugged in. A double horn. And that tells you. Once that horn sounds, you can go ahead and turn off your ignition, and it is programmed. It's as easy as that. Ignition off. And now take the keys out and take the device out. Let's see if it worked. For those of you with automatic transmissions, it cannot be in park for the halo light to come on. Let's see if it worked. So it looks like we have a bit of a technical difficulty. It did come on and that is pretty nice. However, the orange light came on, which is not what we were looking for. So let's see if we could figure this out right now. So this is how it looks with the blinker on. This is the daytime running light. It looks like it's only lighting up orange because it's sending full power to the turn signals. Now initially we thought this was interesting. We kind of wanted it to all be white, but I actually think it looks pretty good. Let's see what Aline thinks. What do you think? Pretty into it. Are you into it? I think I like it. Would you rather have the orange or the white? I kind of like orange. Why is that? It's different. Honestly, I could change it if I want to because this is so easy to use. But I think for now, I'm like digging it. So you don't actually have to touch this at all. That's it's awesome. It's totally... Just... So let's keep it totally off. And this is what it looks like. This is the daytime running light setup. And if you're wondering, those fog lights down there, I have those hardwired into a switched fuse so they only turn on with the vehicle on now why don't you turn on the headlights let's take a look all righty so when you turn on the headlights it looks like the white halo comes on which is okay it's pretty nice turn the blinker off we'll blinker off look at that that is how it looks all said and done It's as easy as that, you guys. So that was one of the many functions that this device can do for you. So we were kind of thrown off by that orange, but <laughs> honestly, I think it's pretty cool and it's really easy to reverse. 100%. Now, there's a lot of other options too, like the high beam, low beam, etc. but we're gonna just stick to this for now. Let's do that. Why don't you drive it around for a bit, see how you feel. That sounds great. And kind of go from there. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. It actually helps us a lot by getting it out, the, getting the video out to many other people. It makes a big difference, believe it or not. Uh, so, if, if definitely, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and subscribe. Now, why don't you talk about the giveaway that's coming up? We are doing a huge giveaway for those of you that have not seen. We did a lift kit on the JK and absolutely love it. We'll put the link above for the review as well as the install. We are giving away a lift kit at 10,000 subscribers. So please make sure to hit that button for your chance to win a lift kit. And just, just going based off our past, we've given so many things away, literally almost 10 things away. Headlights, fuel injectors, we've given fog lights, we've given light bars, all of the above, flag mounts, you name it. So. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment below. Also, check out our Instagram at Garage Couple for our day to day in the garage. Now, for now, we will part ways, but we will see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm carrying you, it don't work. Yeah, it's fine. You turn off the car. <laughs>